Sanchez Ambassador to the Philippines sa uh, Philip Goldberg na hindi mahusgahan ang lahat ng sundalong Amerikano dahil lamang sa pagkakasangkot ng isa sa mga miyembro ng US Marine. Naruto report ni Leigh Aldi. Nagpahayag ng pagkadismaya si U.S. Ambassador Philip Goldberg sa pagtangka kahapon ng kapatid at karelasyon ni Jeffrey Jennifer Laude na makalapit sa detention facility ni U.S. Marine Private First Class Joseph Scott Pemberton. Makikita naman daw sa mga litrato at video sa mga news report na dinala talaga sa Cap Aguinaldo ang Amerikanong sospek. Let me say uh, that uh, I found uh, what happened yesterday to be very disappointing. Uh, that... Uh, Uh, people were able to enter into a military base of uh, the armed forces of the Philippines, then to uh, climb a fence and get uh, close to a uh, facility uh, where a suspect is located uh, is very disappointing. Uh, we need to deal uh, with this situation seriously through the rule of law, uh, through the protection of the rights of a suspect, Understanding that there's a bereaved family uh, and uh, that they are suffering at the moment. Di raw karaniwang arrangement ang pagdetain kay Pemberton sa loob ng Camp Aguinaldo ayon sa U.S. Ambassador. Sa kasunduang ito, nasa U.S. custody pa rin ang suspect pero nasa loob ng isang Philippine facility. Ang napiling detention facility ay isang 20-footer container van sa bakura ng Mutual Defense Security Engagement Board sa loob ng Camp Aguinaldo. Mga Amerikanong sundalo ang nagbabantay kay Pemberton. Sa kaso ni Lance Corporal Daniel Smith na naharap at naabsolto kalaunan sa kasong rape sa loob ng U.S. Embassy ito ikinulong. This is an unusual arrangement. Uh, this, uh, to, to have uh, this take place on uh, sovereign Philippine soil. Uh, it shows the extent to which uh, we're being sensitive uh, to the needs of the Philippine side, the Philippine public, uh, and uh, But, but at the same time, we want to protect the rights of a suspect and we want to make sure that the rule of law is preserved. Nang tanungin naman si Goldberg tungkol sa hiling ng pamilya ni Laude na makaharap si Pemberton. First of all, our responsibility under the uh, VFA, under the Visiting Forces Agreement, is to make a suspect available uh, for trial. That's our responsibility. Uh, and uh, no, uh, the, uh, that's what we'll follow. We'll follow the rule of law. We're not going to uh, okay. engage in theatrics. Sinabi kahapon ni AFP Chief of Staff General Gregorio Katapang na mananatili si Pemberton sa Camp Aguinaldo hanggat ipagutos ng korte kung saan siya dapat madetine. Ayon sa U.S. Ambassador, ang Visiting Forces Agreement pa rin ang kanilang susundin kapag naisang panang kaso sa korte. Sa ilalim ng VFA, mananatili ang akusado sa U.S. custody hanggang matapos ang lahat ng judicial proceedings. The Philippine Armed Forces Chief said uh, that Pemberton will remain at Camp Aguinaldo until the court decides on his detention. Will the U.S. turn him over? I don't want to say what we can and can't do. What mm -hmm. I'm saying is we'll follow the VFA uh, that we can and will we have uh, that uh, the suspect is under U.S. custody. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I don't think that uh, the statement that you just uh, Uh, red is correct. Ang mga Pilipinong abogado raw ni Pemberton ang magkapayo dito kung dapat na siyang dumalo sa preliminary investigation sa Olongapo City sa lunes. Nakikipagtulungan daw ang Naval Criminal Investigative Service o NCIS sa PNP sa investigasyon. Ipinunto ni Goldberg na ang kaso ni Pemberton ay isang isolated case lamang at di raw dapat makaapekto sa pangkalahatang pagtingin ng publiko sa mga bumibisitang Amerikanong sundalo. I don't think that we ought to look at uh, something and one incident, uh, uh, whatever happens in it, uh, without prejudging it uh, as an example of, uh, uh, of the whole military or the Marines. But uh, all of us are obviously concerned, uh, including the Marines. And the Marines have acted uh, very responsibly, and especially the Marine Corps leadership. Uh, in trying to be uh, helpful in finding solutions uh, to these very uh, thorny kinds of issues. Leigh Alves, GMA News.